Street. The two women said that appeals from the West for mercy are now their only hope. Outside Pretoria Central Prison, where the Sharpeville Six are on death row, lawyers and relatives emerged from their first prison visit since the execution orders were served. One of the accused um, it was Reed McQuenna. He's a youngster, he's about 24 years old presently. said, they can kill me, but they will not kill my spirit. Mr. Diaz said the six were resolved to die, convinced that the common purpose law had been wrongly applied, that they were not directly responsible for the brutal killing of the Sharpeville official. Justice was definitely not done in this case, and you have lived throughout this trial. Please, for their sakes, keep strong, keep the spirit high. With the lawyer's words now their only source of comfort, the relatives are looking increasingly to Western leaders for help. As we know that they, are, they, are, they were still in support with us, but we're again asking them to help us on in this case, to save the lives of our husbands. There are only two possibilities now that might result in a stay of execution, either the submission of significant new evidence in the case, or President Borter agreeing to consider an 11th hour direct petition for clemency. This is Graham Leach for the 9 o'clock news in South Africa.